Auto sequence start. CC212, ready to roll. Um, can I just ask a quick question? Where is space from here exactly? Anyone? It might sound like a silly question, but it's good to know if you're trying to get, well, up there. Something these two billionaires were also doing recently. Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson and Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos. First, Branson and five friends went up for a few low gravity minutes. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Followed soon after by Bezos and his mates, including the oldest and youngest people ever to go to space. Blue Control Bezos, best day ever. Both companies are hoping these are the first of many tourist trips to space. Except there's one big thing these two disagree on. Where space actually is. And they're not the only ones. There's always been an argument about where does the atmosphere stop and where does space begin? Because there is no neat line. There is no barrier that you break through. Scientists divide our atmosphere into different layers, starting with the troposphere, where the air is nice and thick and easy to fly through. After that is the stratosphere, and then the mesosphere. For decades, NASA, the US Air Force, and some astrophysicists have considered that the start of space, 80 Ks up. In fact, that's when US astronauts get their wings, a badge awarded on their very first successful space flight. And Branson's Virgin Galactic flight went just over that to 86 Ks. But Blue Origin claims by international standards that wasn't quite space. It reckons you have to go 100 Ks up, not 80, to the start of the thermosphere and something called the Kármán line. It's named after this guy, an engineer and physicist who in 1957 became the first person to try to define the edge of space. Now the Kármán line is recognised by lots of scientists and international organisations. And it's what Bezos's blue origin was going by when it sent him 106 k's up. On how it felt, oh my god! <laughs> now you might be thinking, why does it even matter where space starts? Does it matter really only to these companies who are trying now to sell suborbital space tourism, you know, and to title their passengers astronauts? Copy, astronaut Bezos. This remarkable crew of mission specialists and now astronauts. <laughs> While those guys technically are astronauts, some have pointed out that there's a big difference between a 15-minute joyride and, you know, what astronauts like me are doing. What does that do? Like travelling to the ISS 400 k's away or going on a mission to the moon, which is about a thousand times further. And of course, the further from Earth you go, the more difficult and more expensive your ride gets. But I guess if you do find yourself with a spare few hundred thousand dollars to spend on space travel in the future, just make sure you're happy with how far you're going. Come in, mission control. I think I'm in space now. 